so hi guys today i was asked a question by one of my fellow employees he came from an interview and he wasn't settled with how he responded it was along the lines of root causing and using the five wise tools he was asked how can you find out if someone is lying this is why i decided to make this video that question is very loaded and something that should be avoided there is a complete misunderstanding and feeling from both parties either whether the how the question was asked or how it was received but either way, if you're talking about root causing and using the five whys and coaching, these are all different things. And you should know the limitations between the three. This video is for the coach and for the coachee. Now, as a coach, I'm hoping this, this will help you hone your craft when you're doing your coaching, when you're doing a five whys, or when you're doing a root cause analysis. Most of the time, leads are SMEs or POCs are required to coach. To determine the root cause and do a five whys. For the coachee, it's more of a warning on how you should be answering questions. In this video, we'll talk about five whys, five whys and coaching, its relationship, and coaching and lying. So you're there, you're in an inter you're in an interview for a promotion, and you were asked about coaching and five whys. And the question was, again, how do you find out if someone is lying? That's a pretty loaded question. Um, and I think it would have been appropriate if it were asked along those lines. If you were asked that question, I would strongly recommend to answer along the lines of the point is not to find out if someone is lying or not, but it is also important to find out the truth. Every decision that's very far from reality of the situation will lead to a bad decision. Or why? If you determine a root cause and the root cause was shallow, and the root cause was not close to the reality of the situation your action plan that you'd be creating from that would be misleading it will probably cause your action plan to fail what is root causing what is a root cause analysis a root cause analysis is one way you try to find out or you try to get closer to the reality of the situation or you want to find out the truths behind something um, why did this like error happen or why is this situation happening why are these two people fighting? Why are the lines um, in the government offices uh, taking too long? What's wrong with their process? And whatnot. Okay, so that's root causing. When doing a root cause, you can use a lot of techniques. Five whys is just one of them. You also have your fishbone, you have your seven quality tools, you can have quantitative and qualitative uh, approaches, you can do. Um, there are a lot of ways you can you can use to determine the truth there is no like there are no strict rules but there are um, standard tools that you can use and companies uh, co corporations usually have they would have they would come up with their own recommended ways of dealing with problems and how to deal with problem you should be able to look for the cause of the problem that's that is root causing five whys five whys is just one of the tools um, um, in a nutshell, Five Wise is asking um, why until you get to the bottom of the situation. Each root cause tool has its weakness and it has its strength. This is the same for Five Wise. It has its weaknesses and it has its strengths. Right? So in most situations, like when you're determining which tool to use, you should be aware of the weaknesses and strengths of each um, of each question, uh, of each tool. Um, should I be using a... Uh, Pareto to determine which I should focus on or should I be using a five whys to determine to give me a quick and dirty of uh, what's what's the situation of my problem should I be using a change analysis or analysis of controls anyway <clears throat> right so that is the difference between five whys and um, root cause so those are two different things and you shouldn't be putting them in the same basket well technically one is a subset of the other so one is the egg and one is the basket. So what about coaching? Coaching is one way that can help you determine um, the root cause of a situation. So for example, why this error happened, you can do a root cause um, with one of your associates who did the problem, who, who experienced the, uh, who was unfortunate enough to receive the error, or he, you, you'd like to, you're going with, on this journey with this, with this person you're coaching to try to determine what made it difficult for you. Right, so that that is what um, coaching is. It's just one of the avenues for a five whys. 
Now, there's some danger to that in the sense that um, five y when you're doing a five y's, you don't specifically have to ask one person. Although it's a really convenient tool just to ask one person and all of your answers will be coming from one question. And this is why um, this is why it's important. Coaching is just one way. I could provide you a root cause even without co coaching. I can do a five wise even without coaching. So for example, the problem you want to res resolve, which is, this is a big problem, and should, should we shouldn't be using a five wise for this. So I wanted to find out, are, re are big companies really harder to manage? And then try to ask why. Now you could imagine how I would be misled if I just asked the senior senior di senior director or um, mani or a single manager if I just ask him why it's difficult there are some dangers to the reality the reality is that bigger companies have different strengths and weaknesses um, one person can say that one company is harder to manage or a smaller company is harder to manage one can say that a larger company is larger to manage but their perspective is actually li limited. So when I'm doing a five whys and I'm only confining myself to just coaching to determine the reality of the situation, it's not very accurate. Let's take, the, for example, you want to find out, okay, the root cause you want to find out is regarding quali quality scores, specifically for one associate, right? So you ask, you go ahead and coach the person and you've determined, okay, I'm gonna use coaching for five for my five whys. So I talk to the person and ask him or her, why did you have this particular error? And then they'd like to find out, was the training really that good? Was he equipped? Does he have the knowledge, the skills, the aids, the attitudes to help him complete the task? If I ask that person, was the training helpful for you? Is the training helping you complete your tasks? Sometimes the person may or may not be lying. But answering that question from that employee might not be the best solution. He might not have the best answer. Let's, let's take another example. People even lie to themselves. You know, sometimes we're blind to our own weaknesses. For this day, I might be saying, I love red. I would never ever choose a green colored pen. But you could take a look at my stuff and you could take a look at my pens and you might see some green colored pens. So even, I might not be aware and might not even tell you the reality. How I say, uh, how I respond to those questions might be, might limit your analysis. So those are the things that you should be avoiding. As a coach, um, we should be careful not to limit our perspective to just coaching when doing the five whys. Also, it's dangerous to limit your five whys and confining it, not coaching the particular person. So when you're doing your five whys, coaching is one of the avenues. You may get information. It may or may not be closer to reality. Okay, so the faster you get to the reality, you know, be careful. Because sometimes you ask the question, the question is responded to by your associate but or your employee. But that doesn't mean it's closer to the problem. So be careful when you're doing five whys, right? So for the coachee, avoid these questions. Try to go on the journey with your coach and try to understand why he is asking these questions. And most of the time, the five voices are used to try to avoid um, future errors, right? And uh, to help you improve your, your quality scores or to help you with your work. That's probably why they're doing the five whys. So those are the tips uh, tips I have for you today. I just really wanted this out of my system because uh, I really felt like this was a, um, a dangerous question to ask, especially if it was asked specifically on how the associate told me how this was asked. Like when you want to run a business and the director comes to you and I say, most of my customers are coming in on Mondays, Tuesdays, and Wednesdays. But if you actually actually take a look at their client visits um, or customer visits, you might take a look at their restaurants, have more sales invoices on the weekends. So how they define customer might be different or there might be clarity. You, might, you need to get, get more clarity on what their objectives are, what they consider as a customer, what they consider as success. The business owner might even be lying. Uh, not not just um, you know saying that everybody is lying, but lying is just one way. Like I said, um, you shouldn't be asking an associate how good the training was. You should be asking a training specialist to find out if the training was effective. You should be looking at your level threes or level four assessments, or you'd like to take a look at your level fives or your cost perspective. If the 
training was a success. Um, asking one person then and there might lead you to incorrect um, action plans and different, root, uh, different root, root causes, hence different action plans that may cause you more damage than good, okay? So that's it, I'd like to share that with you guys. I hope you liked the video. If you liked the video, go ahead and click that like button. Um, there's a link down there for you to subscribe. If you have a Google account, go ahead and um, log in with that. It, the Google account um, works now across all Google platforms, um, including YouTube. So subscribe, um, you can follow me on Twitter. Um, and I'll have that on the link below. Um, also, you can follow me on Facebook. All right. So, if you like this video and you would, you'd like to, sh if you'd like to uh, help your coachee or a coach, coach or be coached, then you can share the, this video with them. I'm hoping um, this would try to resolve because a lot of people have been asking me today about five boys and root causing, and I, I just like to address this. For future use okay so appreciate your time um please share this with your your friends like favorite subscribe okay see you bye thanks